the chronological order, there's basically um, the stages are your education brief, your master planning, then your uh, project specific design, then the quality assurance process, and then construction. There are three stages to it, um, and the three stages merge together, so don't see it as master planning then the next stage it just seems to happen one after the other so the first thing was readiness to engage now this started right back before we even did the education brief it was the readiness as jackie said we had a school fair so we put up some ideas some learning settings and got the parents to put stickies on what they liked what they didn't like we got that engagement started really really early Jackie was very clever in, in working with her teams to actually make sure that the, um, the teachers are working in groups. Kerry, Jackie and I went on an MLE tour to Australia. Um, where, where it was facilitated with Cor and um, Julia Atkin and that helped us to understand the key things that we needed to have to make sure we were getting a good result. You have consulted widely. You know what your staff think. You know what your community think you know what your children th think through the, um, the brief, the property brief stage. That is the time that you're consulting. That is the time that you're listening to all voices. Master planning is putting that brief into the design of buildings. The, the importance of your vision and your values, the importance of how learning happens, things like your teams and your, um, the structure of how learning happens in your schools, all of that information is very, very valuable to give to your architects. So your architects will look at that. It is their job to understand the learning settings. It's their job to actually design the spaces. Then we went into procurement. Now we are bundled with three schools. So in part of that procurement, we started right back to procure the project managers for the three of our schools and to secure the architects for the three of our schools. So part of my role was to go and have all of the proposals. We probably had four to five proposals for each of those two, so that's six lots of um, a very large amount of documentation. Um, but we went through and we were looking for what were the key skills being presented by those companies, what was the um, experience, what was the detail.